All right, today's June 13th, it's Friday, so I'm gonna do bicep spike stuff. And I'm gonna do maybe 12, 14, 16 working sets. I don't know yet, it's just gonna be a fail. So I'm gonna start out with barbell curls. I'm gonna warm up four sets, maybe three, and then I'm gonna start with my working set. All right, so when I do this, I like to hold the grip about like just shoulder width, like the pinky, when I curl it up, it's gonna be the like right between my shoulder blade and my chest. That's how I'm gonna do it. So it's normally, normally about an inch outside, just smooth to the rough stuff right there. So it's gonna be about an inch. So when I curl it up, it's gonna be like this. So what I look for is I don't break my wrist because you're a weak position. When your wrist is like this, it's actually weak. So try to keep it straight or even bent inwards. You're in a stronger position. So I'm just gonna warm up 15 times, 12, 15. A warmer muscle contracts harder than a cold muscle. So I'm just gonna warm up. It's basically down to my legs and down up. Is um, I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> Not much more I can do unless I sit up more. <laughs> I don't know how many that is, but let's just see that's warm up set number one. Alright, so I'm gonna do the second warm up set with 25. And as for how fast I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna move the weight. So here we go. Another music for motivation. Let's do this. See that sliding off? Right there? I should have got a little clamp on her. Alright, so I've done about three seconds. This is the first round. See, see I got the weight? It's 25 and two tens. I just prefer to add extra weights to make them a 45. I don't need to take all the weight off and put all the weight on. That's how I roll. So how many how many reps am I going to do? 10, 12, right around that one. I'm going to aim for 12. It depends on how I feel and how heavy it gets. How many reps am I going for? I can go more. I can go heavier, but I don't want to. So I'm going to go about the same weight for 12 reps. That's what I'm feeling in here, so that's what I'm going to go by. There's no striker. It goes by fail. Like a Jedi. Wheelchair style. <laughs> I'm listening to a little Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Let's do this man. And it doesn't hurt when I put the barbs in on my leg. Like I can put anyone! <laughs> Same way? Grrrr! <laughs> 
boys and girls. I move up one arm, down, move up there. I'll keep the wrist straight or a little bit bent like this. So not like this, but it'll be bent straight or this. So there we go. I'm gonna go for about 12 reps or something. These are 55s. <clears throat> Be two reps. All right, when I do this, when I come up, I'm like going up with one, setting that down, and I'm like dancing with the weight. I'm putting it down, then going up. So it's one smooth motion. Now when I do this, I don't go with the hands of the dumbbells like this. I rotate the palm all the way parallel to the, the mirror, basically to the camera like this, so I can squeeze the bicep. The people that does it like a half, it actually doesn't do a full contraction of the bicep. So that's a little tick. Twist it all the way in. Dance with the wave. Just like the beast. Grr. There we go. Shoulders back. Big boobies. And then dance. Ah. Ah. <coughs> Moonwalk moves back there. <laughs> Cameron's doing the moonwalk back there. Show him. Show him your moves. Yeah. I don't know how many that is. Let's go by the bill. Like a wheelchair Jedi. See that dance? Round three. It's not about how much you lift, but it's about the contraction of the belt. I'm getting an awesome bump for the 55s. I can go heavier and go less reps, but I prefer to stay about this weight so I can really concentrate under time and attention. And that's the key of a bodybuilder. It's not about ego training, it's about the feel. What would the fifth Ninja Turtle say about that? <laughs> so let's dance. BCA and what I'm taking is DN by Magnum. So, but when you do take supplements, read the instructions like this. It says one serving, eight capsules. So I actually came out the pills. There's five. We got three more. Whatever, close enough. And then you got a big handful. Oh, come When you take your supplements, it keeps everything going. Some people does it, some people don't, but I do it. So that's a little tip for you. All right, next up, I'm gonna do hammers. It's basically like keep your hands at a neutral grip, just gonna go up, down, up, down. Again, keeps the wrist straight and not bent like this, not just kind of like lifting up like this. Again, I'm gonna dance with it. I'm gonna go up, go down, come up. And again, keep it straight. I just keep it right in front of the shoulder. So let's do this. Three to four sets. So again, we're gonna do 55s. It's not about how heavy I can go, but it's about a fill, a concentration.
the 12. All right, so why train the like hammer curls like that versus like this? What's the difference? Doing a hammer and a neutral grip like this actually works the brachialis. The brachialis is under the muscle of the bicep, which you got a lateral head and a medial head of the bicep brachii. And on your triceps, there's three heads. You got a lateral, a long, and a medial head of the tricep brachii. So doing hammers works the brachialis, which is the muscle in between. So what does it mean? It means that you're actually doing the muscle in between them, which will expand your arms. In layman in turn, it's gonna help you get bigger arms. A tricep is two-thirds the size of your arms. So if you want big arms, you gotta train your triceps a lot, as well as doing some hammers to expand it. That's a little phys physiology for you. <laughs> of the human anatomy. All right, little tip here. When I grip these, I'll normally grip them, see how they, on the top right here? So I hold my hands right here. Sometimes I'll grab it here. So right now, I'm just gonna base it at the top. So the gravity holds it down like that. So here we go. See? Shoulders back. next exercise I'm going to do is a cable curl. This is simply doing curls from the cable. <laughs> it's the name. And I got some use in my legs, so I'll be able to play it. For you people in a wheelchair, you're like, I can't do this. We'll put one single cable and do it one arm. Same difference, but a different variation. Again, keep the wrist straight. Don't let it bend. Your wrist, when it bends like this, is actually a weak position. So keep it tight and keep it straight. You're going to have a better contraction. So, as for breathing, some people said breathe out when you lift, exertion, breathe in, coming down. The reality, just lift the weight. <laughs> when it's time to breathe, you're gonna breathe. Because when I lift heavy, sometimes I don't breathe. So if I tell you that, breathe this way, breathe that, I'm gonna be a hypocrite. When you roll with the beast, you roll with fire, baby! It's like a dragon down. Darn. So here we go. How many reps? Maybe 10, maybe 12, maybe 15. I'm gonna go by Phil. Here we go. Oh.
Yes. <laughs>